Real quick before we get started with this video, I just wanted to jump in here and say that we took this trip before the U.S. knew the full extent of the Corona-19 virus. When we left, the only thing that was being recommended was to avoid cruises, which we did, and canceled our cruise to the Bahamas. At that point, there were no restrictions or recommendations to avoid travel within the U.S. The school had sent out a message the day that we left saying classes would resume after spring break as planned. It wasn't until we were well into the trip that businesses started shutting down and the school made the decision not to bring the kids back until the middle of April. Had we known how crazy things were going to get, we probably would have just canceled our plans and stayed home. We are now home and safe and self-isolating, only going out for necessities like groceries, which we've ordered online and pick up without getting out of the truck. We want to encourage everyone to continue to social distance and stay safe and help family, friends, and neighbors who need it and continue to hope for a quick end to this. Now onto the video. Two hours behind. It's amazing that we're ahead of schedule. <laughs> I was hoping to be the Omaha by dark. Well, that won't be happening. We gotta get up at four. Eh. It's not a problem for me. Twelve hours from now, we'll be on the airplane. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. Next Sunday, it's supposed to be 50. <laughs> it's not bad. Charleston next Friday is Why? supposed to be 78. Why did you bring the hard hat? Well, this really does turn into a zombie apocalypse. Hey. I want to make sure if something's going to cover my head. Yeah, I am not dreaming. Alright, Friday the 13th, we're off to South Carolina. We should have got that playlist. What playlist? The coronavirus playlist. Sounds like bad luck. It is Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. yeah. When's it supposed to start snowing? Saturday. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, Sunday, right? It's supposed, to, it's supposed to snow tomorrow here. Snow begins to move in overnight. We could take off and snow tomorrow. not bring the passports because we're not going to go out of the country. So now we're, we're, we're at the point you're going to get a big bag, $14.60 back on a voucher for a person. Um, but I guess that beats paying it. It does. Uh, right. And for the most part, I got you seating in the same vicinity. Um, uh, going over, I was able to get you all three in the same row. Okay. Um, but coming back, I had to do like a window, window in the middle. We'll get this, uh, reissued for you and out. Should, I would imagine it'd be out within the, which within the hour. Thanks Thank for flying. Bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Okay, for those of you who know us, you know sometimes we do crazy stuff. Well, this time, we were supposed to be going to South Carolina for a cruise, but because of the coronavirus, all that got canceled. We're sitting here in the um, hotel in Omaha waiting to get on a flight. Um, when the cruise ships canceled the, the cruises, we did really the only logical thing to do we rebooked our tickets to hawaii so now in about three hours we're going to be heading to the airport to uh, get on a plane to fly to honolulu i don't know if it's the smartest thing given what's going on in the world but um it's kind of how we roll i don't know if you guys can see outside but right now it's uh, it's snowing and uh by tonight we will be 
hopefully in Honolulu where it's going to be 80 degrees. So uh, time to go take some showers and get ready and get to the airport. We'll see you there. Leaving Omaha for Dallas, our plane was totally covered in snow. They had to bring the de-icing trucks out to clear it off. It was about an eight hour flight from Dallas-Fort Worth to Honolulu. Everyone slept while dad got to sit in the middle seat and hold everyone's stuff. When we arrived in Hawaii, we didn't even have a hotel. We actually booked one while waiting at baggage claim. We couldn't swing staying on the beach since this was actually the second vacation we were paying for as we not got our money back from the cruise yet. So we booked the Holiday Inn Express about three blocks off Waikiki Beach. Well, about 20 hours ago, we actually got a hold of uh, American Airlines and changed our tickets and now here we are standing on Waikiki Beach. If you want to see the rest of our adventures in Hawaii, including Pearl Harbor, the North Shore, surfing and parasailing, please subscribe and we'll see you as we continue to do it across America.